Howdy there, folks. This is Lapidary Dave here at the Albuquerque Gem Show. It is my birthday today. Hanging out here. Uh, I've never had the chance to film this show. I've been filming, you know, everything else that's around here. But it's just a little hard, I guess, in the past. Uh, it's the last day, so people are trying to get out of here. You know, not a lot of people don't, who haven't done so well, they just want to pack up and go home. But, happy that we made it. Well, that's fantastic. Here's a nice mix of different stuff, some Royston up here on the top. I assume that's number eight down here on the bottom. I'm not sure. Yes. And what would this be right here? Royston. Oh, wow, it's fantastic. I knew that that was Royston up there, but... Mm -hmm. And what about this, my friend? That one, I think, is Godber. Godber? Never even heard of it. Godber Burnham, yeah. Um, are you one of those gentlemen who are mining the Cerritos? Mm -hmm. Oh, I bought some awesome stuff from you. It was just on the surface, but I, did, I didn't grind it. I just Ooh. polished it using buffing compounds, and it came out fantastically. Yeah. Nice. Glad. Do you have any more of that? Oh, right here. <laughs> Should have looked a little bit harder. I love your stuff, man. Appreciate that. Yes, it's uh, fun to dig, it's fun to share, and it does polish up beautifully. You know, Santa Fe, Cerritos, you gotta have it. <laughs> yep, welcome to New Mexico. Rock. Thank you so much, Lisa, for the super chat. I really appreciate you. How you doing there, Abiquail? How you doing there, Rufo and Danny? This gentleman, uh, I bought some awesome Cereos from him. All the Cereos turquoise was just on the surface, but it's such a hard turquoise. Like, you could look at that. It's already glossing without being grinded that all I had to do was use a buffering buffer. Oh, yeah, look at that. Awesome. A little thicker than normal. <laughs> New pocket rock. <laughs> Heck yeah. How long has the Cerritos mine been going? Like hundreds of years? Over a thousand. Oh yeah, the traditionally. The Ozzy mines there in 1000 AD. In historic terms, about 1890 in production for in historic times. Oh wow. And I, I think a lot of people, like, when I buy rough, it's usually green. Uh, but it does come in really intense blues as well. We get mostly green. My, my mind is called the Verde. I mean, there's a piece of intense blue right there. Oh, yeah. My mind is called the Verde, which is, you know, green in Spanish. But we do get blues for sure. Yo, Chad, thank you so much, my friend. Chad and Lisa, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate you. I'm going to have to buy some, uh, some of the Cerritos. You know, the gentleman has stunning material of all different kinds. We were taking a look at it a moment ago. Look at that blue gem. That's nice. That is fantastic. Wow. Do you do the polishing? No. Well, I mean, some yes, most no. It doesn't look like it's mailed away. It doesn't look like it's cut in the Philippines or anything. It looks oh, like... No, 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 no. This is all domestic rock. I mean, my buy old collections typically, which are cut in the 70s and 80s, mm -hmm. or I get it from miners or cutters here in the U.S. No, it's not cut overseas. Yeah, the, you know, there's nothing really bad with that. I know the Audisons mail away a lot of material to be cut. Um, but I can just tell those are, like, hand, done, free form, like, non... Like, even the free forms overseas still have a look, you know, and perhaps because they're not... They're just cutting it, and they don't... That's the end of their process. They're not putting it in the silver, you know. And these, these are nice, really nice girdles intended for... Ready to be bezels. Yeah. yeah. Look at that siege light. That's what, probably a $5,000 piece right there? Get a price for 35 Nice. <laughs> but yeah, siege light's become so rare. Prices have gone up so much. Do you have a nice little collection for, for yourself at home? Of course. So, you know, some people don't collect. Some people, like, everything's for sale. Some people, like you, have a collection at home. Well, it's collection stat slash back stock inventory for later. Who knows? But it's not for sale now. I can't. I beg your pardon, my friend. Can I trouble you for a card? Sure. Yeah, this gentleman is super cool. My 
first time I came to the Albuquerque show, I believe you were in a different spot years ago. Maybe towards the middle? When I started, I was way back in the back corner up until last year. Then I moved up here. I was right there. There's two tables right there across mm -hmm. the local back. That's and when I got it from you. This booth this year, I'm very happy. It feels good over here. <laughs> it's just so much more open and very nice. Yeah, that Suja Light's fantastic. Nice dark color. Uh, it's kind of hard to buy Suja Light. There was a gentleman in in uh, Tucson at the 22nd Street show who probably would have charged two or three times that price for that bag. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rufo. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, MT. How you doing there, Springfield? Thanks for the birthday wishes, y'all. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, oh, sorry, sir. Oh, wow. Look at that. Boom. That's the jelly. The jelly. That's the high grade. Fantastic. Sorry, I didn't mean to... I, for some reason, I thought you were handing it to me. Yeah, I should have trusted the process, and I know you know what you're doing. Is this what they call Carico Lake, or is that Gaspiite? Neither. It is from the Northern Lights Turquoise Mine, which is what these are also. When they first started, it's a friend's mine of the miners. They thought it was uh, phosphite, like the Carico Lake, but it actually does not have the zinc. It's just an unusual color of green. It is turquoise. It looks great. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is phosphate technically a turquoise? No. It's just is a different mineral because it's zinc-based instead of copper-based. Interesting. And it's just so everyone in the trade just calls it turquoise? No. You know what you're talking about. It's phosphite. True. Well, this, I'll is, this is Orville Jack, a true phosphite. The Carico Lake mine has its, its, it has its Carico Lake phosphite or Carico Lake tar turquoise. When you have the blues segueing into the lime green, it's Carico Lake phosphite turquoise slash turquoise. Oh, fantastic. But phosphite is phosphite. I mean, it's just different mineral. Cousin, but it's technically a different mineral altogether. Oh, wow. The zinc phosphate is the copper phosphate. Are these carvings made out of um, this yes. material? And it, it is this, it doesn't need any more treatment to be able to carve like this? Nope. This is one of the hardest, most highly, sorry, highly solidified. It's really hard. It takes a great polish. And it is highly crypto crystalline, which has allowed the detail to be carved naturally. This material is a carver's dream to work with. Oh, wow. I mean, look at the detail you can get. It's all done with diamond, or it. diamond drill bits. But this rock is so hard and so, hold, it's so tightly integrated that it holds together. You can do this kind of incredible carving, like these dragons down below. This is the most unusual piece of coal in the world. I'll be honest, my friend, if you didn't tell me, I would have thought this was some kind of Sonoran turquoise because I would have never guessed that was Chris Acola because of the polish it is so and the detail. Than any other, it's not soft, it's not fractious, it's hard, it's, it's amazing materials. I actually had it tested with X ray diffraction down in Socorro in Mexico Tech because it was marketed to us as African turquoise. And I'm like, I don't think so because turquoise geologically didn't form on the continent over there. But I. Took it down to Socorro and they definitely uh, affirmed that it is, or confirmed, that it is Chrysocolo. Highly, Chrysocolo is quartz, essentially. Highly solidified, hard, hard material. Wow, I've never even heard of that. You know, most people think if you're going to ever carve Chrysocolo, or even sometimes cab, you kind of have to treat it, but this is something super this special is, here. Exactly. And if you folks can't tell, but I can just feel it in my hand. It's cold from from the, the quartz in there and the hardness. And look at the finish on that. Those are fantastic. Then you have good taste. <laughs> so we had the carvings done to show the potential of the rock. Are these done in Bali or Thailand? Or? Bali, and then this shelf is all Zoom fetishes by Brian Yatsadi here in New Mexico. Brian's a cool guy. He is? He's a real nice guy. He is super nice, super humble, and super talented. 
He watches my YouTube channel. He's a good man. <laughs> I was trying to talk to him at the uh, Indian market this year. He's just so busy. You know, just... That's a good thing. <laughs> oh, man. Have you had a great show so far? Yeah. Oh, dude, you deserve it. You make this place look good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm David. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. Pleasure. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, my friend. <laughs> so, folks, this gentleman is Dayton Simmons. Really cool gentleman with great taste. Check out silverdayturquoise.com. Oh, wow, I'd love to take a look at it. Some Royston rough. Oh, agatized coral. Is that from Tampa? Tampa Bay, Florida. Look at that. And they're affordable, too. Did you know, you saw that there. Um, did you know to slice it? Thank you so much, Simi. I really appreciate your kindness, my friend. And uh, thank you, Femme Mechanique from Canada. I really appreciate you. How you doing there, Urged? Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Chad, how you doing? From the Feast of the Hunters, Moon Blanket Traders, it was fun to be 21 again. So we're here at the Albuquerque Gem Show. It is the last day. I wanted to get here early. I usually don't even wake up this early. I played a gig last night. We were live for a little bit on there. I took it down, it was a terrible angle. I looked so fat. But it was a great gig. We are here show you again. Let me grab my card. What I got. We are here taking a look at Dayton Simmons material. He has really, really mm -hmm. great taste. And uh, super kind. Castle Dome. Great color. Bonito White from California. Supposedly some of this material can be one of the most expensive materials out of California, right? Bonito White is California State Gym Stone, and when it is facet grade, it has a better blue than any sapphire and more light distortion than a diamond. So they are more expensive than diamonds. Now these, that there is a near perfect example of the crystal in form. It's what we call a slate crystal or a shale crystal. It has so many inclusions and impurities, it's not gem grade, but it's a perfect specimen of the ditrigonal, dipyramidal nature of the crystal stroke. That is fantastic. So these are rare. The, the actual Benito, Benito White gem mine is mined out long ago, and a buddy of mine has a, uh, his claim butts up to it at the base of the mountain. He's had 100 years of alluvial flow, so he's working the gravels and produces finding all these beautiful pieces of Benito White that just washed down the mountain over the last 100 years. In all honesty, I've only ever read it before. Um, read about it. My friends have had pieces in Southern California, like Barstow area, but it's tiny little, little cabochons mm -hmm. that have... Like, <laughs> like those. Oh, yeah, exactly. And those are lovely. They are. But I've never actually seen the crystal. That is amazing. Have you had these for a long time? I mean, I've been... I acquire more every year from him, so some I've had for a while, some I've had for a year. But that's a real thing. This is beautiful. Hello, ladies. Hi. Thank you so much, Common Sense. Happy birthday. God bless you with all your little heart can stand. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you, everybody, Rocks. Sorry I'm missing so many of your comments. They're just popping up so fast. Thank you, Sunshine. How you doing there, fool? 
You really want to get some turquoise? Any chance you can hunt me some rough? Uh, 10 to $20 worth is not a lot, my friend. At that price, um, if you really wanted something to cut, you might want to look into something stabilized. These are really nice. Some people might think that, oh, that's too small to work. Not at all. Like, there's tons of, like, I think people overestimate the size of a cab that you would need for a ring. It really doesn't have to be that much. Look at this. <laughs> Yo. All original in the box. It's like a toy. It's got the original box and all of the things inside it. It came with it in 1965. Oops, thank you. It's still there. Oh, wow. Everything. The everything. everything. It's only $90. The box is probably worth $90. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, a, like an old toy. It's in the original box, so it's worth more. But... Oh, wow. And there it says 1965. What a great toy. Yeah. There's a scientist kid in all of us. <laughs> Boy's crystal. One of the rarest things you'll ever see in your life. The only place in the world where turquoise form crystals and they are microscopic. So where the turquoise color is, you need like a 20 power loop to see it. Oh wow. But they are tiny tiny crystals. Uh, hexagonal crystals of turquoise. That is incredible. Yeah. And I for some nice Veracruz amethysts. Stunning Arkansas quartz points. Only a dollar each. A lot of you artists out there could probably do a lot of great stuff with this. Very cool. Anyway, we just got here. Just got here. And it was so nice to meet, um, to meet Dayton. But we have so much more show to take a look at. You folks know me, I am a phosphate freak. And I will spend three hours talking turquoise with people. It's just so great. I'm going to thank Dayton for his kindness. Um, and then we're going to keep moving on. How you doing there, Michelle Martinez, Amber Bueno, Stefan? You know, uh, that 50 cent material, that was this Royston 50 cent a gram. But I'll just send you some stuff, Springfield. I have a lot of stuff that I'm not going to cut, and I'll just mail it to you. Northern Lights. That Northern Lights is fantastic. Dayton, thank you so much for your kindness, my friend. And the education. And the, and the education, dude. Thank you. One more time. Can I get the name of the, nink, the zinc material? Faustite. 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 Sounds German. <laughs> thank you, Dayton. What a cool guy. You know, a lot of people are intimidated by, you know, me sharing their stuff and whatnot. That dude just rolled out the carpet there, was showing us his best stuff. What a sweetheart. These cameos are great. I wonder what the... What, what are the cameos made out of? Really? I, th I had a feeling it was organic. Yeah, that's conch shell. These are made in Italy. Oh, wow. I know the Italians do a lot of larger, like, turquoise carvings and stuff. They do it all. Um, now, most of it's being done in Germany with the uh, uh, laser. Oh, what a shame. In Eder Oberstein. But uh, I guess the laser's just getting really good, huh? It's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> they're fantastic, unbelievable. They take layered agate and 
cut down so you got the white on top with the blue background or the red background. It's natural. Oh, wow. That's what this is, the conch shell. This is the outside, and the pink is the inside of the shell as they're cutting down. It's a separate layer. That's not glued on. This is one piece. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. I love your Crystal Praise ring. Have you had it for a long time? It's jadeite. Really? Oh, well, no one would know. <laughs> if that, would be, this is like a, that is an amazing My piece of jadeite. grandfather was a ship's captain out of Hawaii. Oh, he, wow. And when the Japs bombed Pearl Harbor, he was the harbor master for Honolulu Harbor. Oh, wow. So they made him a commodore in the U.S. Navy so he would be able to control any ships coming into the port because it was militarized, right? Mm -hmm. But that was... He got my dad got that from him, and my dad put it in the ring in Turkey. Wow, that's yeah. such a stunning, probably the best Jedi in Albuquerque. Could be, <laughs> yeah, Could be. honestly. This is the apple green. You know, you, you might, you won't even get a little wisp of that in some of these bangles and stuff well, around here. Or even got it before it ever left the country. Right. Thank you for your you kindness. Oh uh, yeah, I live in Taos actually. Here. Show. Will do. I am the best there ever was. I asked him if he's any good with the camera. He said he's the best. He's oh, good. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're, we're interested in maybe doing some videos of classes. Awesome. Uh, what I can do is, do you have, is this your email? I'll send you some v videos of some stuff I've done. Okay. And if you like it, you let me know. Sure, <laughs> sure. Well, what I'd like to do, yeah, I want to start um, doing like basic class videos and I'd like to do um, two cameras, um, one, you know, straight on and then one showing, you know, kind of up close to my hand so they can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, do some, you do the editing and stuff like that oh, too. Yeah. Or, will you, or will you let me help you with the editing? Absolutely. Okay. I would insist. Okay, great. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, and, um, we just film it all at once, and then we have them going on the computer screen all together, and you let me know when you want what to switch to where, and it's, sometimes it might need to be zoomed in. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. And right. what I would like to do well, is teach do you how to do it while I do it so that well, you don't... Well, here's the thing. I, I directed a movie in um, 2004. I actually won uh, Sundance. Oh, congratulations. For, for, the, be for the best amateur... Um, director, so I know kind of how it works, but I, I don't I can't do it myself, and I can't do everything. So you know, I was telling my husband, I was saying, well, maybe I can you know meet, talk to some people that I used to know. But hey, I'd rather just give you the give you the work and and get it done. But yeah, I have a general idea of how to do it. I just don't, frankly, I don't want to do it myself. No, it's hard to be the artist and then the producer and then the and then, exactly. then the booking agent and all well, this that's stuff. That's it. I mean, I really, I mean, I know how to do. But the problem is, is I just don't, you know, frankly, I don't have the time or the energy to do it all myself. I completely understand. So I would much rather pay somebody to, to you know, kind of help me out a little bit, you know, kind of back me out in case I need it. So, yeah, like I said, I'm definitely, because I'd want to do probably two videos, um, one on basics and tools and the second one on making bezels, because um, I think that's where the money is. And we'll just do, you know, we'll want to do um, um, DVDs. Just ask you about the question. <laughs> Those are nice fantasy cut facets. Thanks, Resort Dog. Oh, will do. And um, I will email. Uh, yeah. No problem. Um, oh. Is that uh, Aguas Calientes fire agate over there? Yeah. Part of it is. Part of it's Deer Creek and Slaughter Mountain. Let me see if I can think. Really? That's You're a contour wear, carver. That's why I wear glasses. That's a third of what I cut. See, here's Casper the Friendly Ghost. There's Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great cutter. Manufacturing cutters and children manufacturers and gold manufacturers. Here in the States? Here, Mexico, and Sri Lanka. Oh, nice. I had uh, 57 cabochon cutters and 18 fasteners. 
you don't mind me asking, why did you stop? Employees. I kind of figured. I had more trouble with employees here than I did overseas. Oh, I imagine. But bouncing back and forth, back and forth when I had a kid. I've got to stay home more. But it was employees. We sold that quick. And then uh, she wanted to start teaching. So. Um, can I trouble you to see this opal here? This is Virgin Valley, right? Yep. So I heard a great story from one of the owners of Diamond Pacific that it yeah don he's i actually our my youtube channel is sponsored by diamond pacific he's a very good friend of mine he I was used to be friendly with him when we did wholesale shows oh i Port imagine Side, denver and tucson we used to sell out there for 20 some years um he told me that people thought it was impossible to stabilize virgin valley but then him and his people f figured it out perhaps a japanese gentleman you can do it not that hard really <laughs> Oh, man. I talk to some people and they say, absolutely no way. Uh, you know, like... This is stabilizing. Amazing. I did it. Um, I'm oh, David, by the way. Eileen. Eileen, did it's a pleasure. Did you Dennis. Uh, Dennis, I pleasure to meet you. One. Okay, well, here's, there's one that have our, they have our phone numbers on it and our I'll names. I'll grab that. And I'll email you in a few days. Yeah, definitely. And I'll show you some of my work. I stabilized um, all of this. For me, the, mark, the most important thing is the videography and the sound. Yeah, bad sound. Oh yeah, it's terrible. It'll just it'll just make a, a good video bad. Yeah. So yeah, we'll talk about that and the different things and if we have to rent equipment or because usually do you have sound equipment or do we have Oh to yeah. Video? I'm most of my living is as a musician. Oh, okay. So okay, like good. Okay. yeah, we're good. Diamond Pacific. And uh Cutting Edge, the Alexander fa fasting family. Oh fantastic. They're well, you know what you're doing. No, I like to think so. He said he's the best. <laughs> that's, well, that's what you should say, right? I asked him, I said, you any good with that camera I'm the best. I like to hear that. No, it's great. I want to work with the best. Yeah, we'll do. This is what it looks like before you chop it up. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is what it looks like before you chop it up. Oh, wow. Is that considered a big piece of rough? Yes. I would this imagine so. The, the branch. Do you know the history of this stuff? Not so much, honestly. I, I know that it's a wood opal. It's opal in wood. It's not opalized wood. Interesting. Okay. So the sediments went inside the wood. It was a forest that was knocked down by a pyroclastic blast after a, a volcanic eruption. So this stuff here, uh, here. This is opalized wood from New Mexico, these two. This is opal in the dust, the volcanic dust. See the little spots? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Almost looks like the Louisiana opals. Yeah. But this is from the same area, just further out. This is, oh, I stabilized all this, all this, this. <clears throat> You've got sensitive fingers. You can still feel the wood grain. If you don't stabilize this, when I'm cutting it in water, you can take your thumbnail and scrape the wood out. The wood is still wood. It's not, it's not opalized. Interesting. Yeah, I can definitely feel the grain. So I use a real light treat and I back it. That's oh, a nice. 33 and a third record. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love when people use records. Yeah, that's the old way of doing it. Yeah, that feel, I can definitely not, feel the wood. And it's not toxic, but you can't. It'll fall apart if you don't stabilize it. Mm -hmm. So, but these are the ones that she set. Oh, wow, and what a great tour. This is the woman who owns the Virgin Valley. Her dad owned the claim. Really? And he had, a, he had such a big claim, it was a D10 cat. He owned the, the bulldozer. He didn't rent it or lease it. It's probably so, the best way. <laughs> she inherited all this stuff and she said, sell it. And I said, I'm a cutter. And she said, I don't care what you do with it, sell it. We're not getting younger. Sounds like a good friend. Someone and who trusts you. PhD in turtles. In she, turtles? She was on Galapagos for 13 years. And now they're in Australia driving around in a camper for six months. Well, they deserve it. Just for shits and grits. <laughs> That is stunning. Make sure you get a hold of it. It's very I will. And we just got finished talking about it again. And you know, um, it's what she wants, just straight angles with some camera swing. It doesn't sound that difficult at all. And you know, good sound quality is important. Perhaps some post-production would be like if there's a loud 
Fordham or something lowering them. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's an honor to meet you, my friend. Thanks. Good. You get New Mexico magazine. We're in there in October. All right. Romancing the stone. Albert Perky magazine got a hold of us. We're going to do a, a January or February. The article starts on your far left. That is stunning. Thank you, my friend. See you soon. Wow, those are nice people. It'd be an honor to work with her. It doesn't sound, seem like she needs anything too difficult. Oh, this is awesome. Is this travertine? Did you make this? That's awesome. How'd you drill it? Patience. <laughs> Water, patience, and... <laughs> uh, with a press, or do you do it by hand, each one? No, with a press. Oh, fantastic. This is the type of art that sells houses, you know what I mean? Put that in the kitchen. They bring them through the real estate agent. <laughs> that is fantastic. Third place. Was second and first really good? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. You're a great artist, my friend. Do you like working with alabaster? Yeah. That is great. How long have you been in? Um, only $25. That's so cheap. That hole is worth more than $25. <laughs> How long have you been working stone? About eight years. It's a nice turtle. That is awesome. This Picasso marble, huh? It's beautiful stuff. It's really hard, though. Harder than a lot of other marbles. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you live in New Mexico? Oh, cool. The reason why I ask is uh, it's a California material. And I didn't know if you lived in California. Or... Oh, no. It comes down the lower part of the... That came out of the lower part of Oh, interesting. Perhaps that's where it is, and it's not. Yeah. Well, it's probably California and Nevada. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. Thank you, sir. Some Herkimers? No. Some other kind of point. I don't really get to rock hound much, says Springfield. How you doing there, Sunny Gems? World of Rock Towns, how you doing? Birthday wishes. Sorry I'm missing so many of you guys' message. I'll check out that link later, Sunny. Thank you so much, guys. That's spam. Uh, there's so much to learn and so many beautiful things, says Sunshine, to see on this channel. Well, thank you for watching, my friend. How are you doing? <laughs> I was talking to my friends here on the... I like to go around. I really was enjoying your crystals. Are these... They're special. Yeah, they are. Especially this one. I'll take that one for sure. It's, it's so affordable, I can't pass it up. Oh, I'm just trying to make a moment. Actually, there's a story, too, of him. I mean, this guy, he was a shaman, and he used to go out and get him. And I met him probably 20 years ago. And he had a very big collection, and he used to sell them. And then he was close to, to dying, so he gave me his whole collection for me to distribute out. And so he used to collect all these, and they're just... He had a... An eye for it that was amazing. And so there's only a few left here now. But this is one of them. Well, it's an honor and a pleasure to have a piece of this 
gentleman's collection. Check this out. This is made out of catlinite, known as Minnesota Pipestone. This is what the Lakota make their chinupa out of. There's a lot of debate, like, if it's okay to really make other things besides it. I think it's okay. I'm not Lakota, so I don't know. But there's a good story. I've read that there was these Lakota folks that were taking a gentleman who they, he was paying the Lakota folks to, to guide him somewhere, and they took him to the quarry, and they made plates, like dinner plates, and it took them like three or four days to make two plates out of this material back in the 1800s, and so... Oh, yeah, Catlinite, Minnesota. I saw that. Yeah, it actually does come from there. And they don't make very many. They don't get out that often. It's a very special piece. It's fantastic. I see you know? I guess they're not Malachite. Thank you so much for your kindness. Um, who, what was the gentleman's name? He was from High Town. I probably think it was his way not coming in. Actually, he he went to the History Museum and all that. They have a thing on Pie Town and his name is in there. Uh, yeah, I can't I remember, but I mean, you know, he's part of kind of the history of the town here. Mm -hmm. So I know it's at the museum. I know they talk about Pie Town and he's in there. And I can't remember his name. Oh, that's okay. But anyway, there's a continuation there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Slabs, slabs, slabs. Were you at the Buffalo Thunder show? Yeah. How you doing, my friend? Very good. Good to see you. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get to see that one again. Why not? It just was a weird show. Well, none of us heard anything from the organizers. Oh, yeah, November's right around the corner, huh? Yeah. You had the best prices on slabs over there. Looks like you got a lot more new new stuff. I tried. Ran out of a few things Friday. Hey, that's not a bad thing. Well, I only had a couple pieces of bloodstone left after the show in Silver City. That's from the Big Diggins mine that the Deming Club has the claim on. Very cool. Is this, this is, what is this? Uh, the guy I get it from called it peanut butter obsidian. <laughs> That's the last piece I have, actually. Not a bad name. Yeah. I accidentally bought it when I was looking to get stock on Orbicular. And it turns out it's gorgeous. Oh, this one you might want to... This is one that, you see the clear layers coming through? Absolutely. So, that is fantastic. So three layers of stone. Are you, I'm not a very good obsidian polisher. I don't have a very good, it takes cerium I hear is good, cerium or lindier. I don't really have a slow spinning leather wheel right now. Uh, I'm happy to provide people who know what they're doing with their materials. But I have to admit, I can't polish it for fiddly. Heck, hey, well, oh, sorry, my friend. Well, you're doing everybody a great service. And it's good to see you, my friend. Yeah, yeah World of Rock Hounds. It's not fair. This, you're the best obsidian polisher I know of. You took all the fun out of it. Why? <laughs> I don't like the rocks. I just that. I got everyone's attention when I put the sign on one of the bins last year. So I put it on everything. That is hilarious. Thank you so much for the Super Chat World of Rock Towns. I'm sorry. I'm just now seeing a lot of things that are popping up. TCG Exchange. Yes, I'm in Albuquerque for my birthday. Thank you, my friend. It's, it's good to see you. Oh, geez, let's. 
and this guy. Uh, report. Report. Sometimes you get the bots on the live throwing up the adult uh, links to adult websites on my oh YouTube God. channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. This is awesome. Did you polish this? Yeah. And it's cool. Using an angle grinder? Yeah. Oh, cool. There's something fun about sitting down with an angle grinder and just pounding away. Dude, for sure. My friend bought some big slabs and she wants them polished. We were thinking about sending it away to somebody who uses a fiber lap. And I'm like, yeah, let's just use an angle grinder. It might take a little bit longer, but it'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> It's good to see you, my friend. Yeah. You're an awesome person, man. What is over there in your, are those UV lights or just LEDs? Uh, that's I was careless when I bought new lights this morning. Oh. Pro lights. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like for plants. Yeah. So it kind of tints everything. I think it looks good. It's attractive. Yeah. Find anything awesome? Oh, wow. Nice fear. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a good one. The copper ore from Baghdad mine over in Arizona. Someone in America definitely sphered this. The polish is fantastic. Yeah, do you know Bruce Harlan? I don't know if I do. I, maybe not. He does fantastic work on this. You know, overseas, a lot of folks, they don't have sphering machines. They use rotundals where the bottom is spinning the whole sphere, then they take something like like this with grit and they move it around. Well, I suspect that may be why he did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That is awesome. I picked that up from a guy at the last show. He was quitting doing shows. And... <laughs> that is, I, I think tells that, a good story. I think that literally was someone stuck this on a pig or something. To spin it. Yeah. Absolutely. That is great. That is so cool. Are you Asher? Yeah. Thank you, Asher. Thank Dude, you're you. awesome. I hope to see you soon. Lance, lo, what was it? Los Ranchos Antique Mall. Heck yeah. Is it like a big house or a uh, warehouse? It's uh, usually a furniture store over in Los Ranchos on Forbes and Santeros. Oh, awesome. Are you drilling these holes? Those particular ones, no. How's the other ones here, yeah. Because the holes are really nice. I was wondering if you used a Gunther water swivel. <laughs> yeah, I did the drilling for like these. Yikes, what is that, one meter? They're about. Oh, good gosh. That is crazy. Well, just put a wire through it. Well, that's... <laughs> the one and a half millimeters are a lot easier to use, but they make a much more noticeable hole, even just a little bit bigger. It's, you can see it. Yeah, around the finding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He has, he has, I think he has the best card here. Thank you, Asher. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs> Asher is really cool. I met Asher. What's going on here? What type of geologist am I? Yeah, so what, um, what topic are you most interested in? Like biology, chemistry, arts and music, um, recess and gym, or like hiking, or math? It should be recess and gym. All right. But it's, uh, let's, let's do art and music. Okay. That one is All right. Spin. Oh, that's a nice spinner. So basically, you would use sound to like map different kinds of rock textures in the earth. Can I use sound to create earthquakes and to heal cancer? Not to do those two things. I mean, you probably could develop a device to create earthquakes. That's not necessarily something you'd want to do. But we do a lot of like seismic measuring, so you can measure the earthquakes. Can I use sound to, to move giant rocks and make pyramids? 
Why not? If you want to develop that technology, <laughs> you know what? There might be someone that would fund that. Possibly. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these bones. Let me take a taste. Okay. Let's say a giraffe. Nope. All right, what's your guess? She said rhino. Bigger. What do you think? Elephant. Bigger, baby. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah. Is it a mammal thing? It is a mammal. Whale. A whale. Yeah, oh, whale. It's awesome. Is it real or is it a casting? No, that's real. It smells good. <laughs> Pick up this one. Tell me what you think it is. Is it poop? It is. It's not a poop. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but he just guessed it and it's smelling it. Yeah. You want to smell? Uh, no, it doesn't smell it. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Do you, what do you folks do? You work for UNM? We're students there, yep. Oh, awesome. Heck yeah. Smithsonian. Smithsonian? Smithsonite. Yeah, Smithsonite, yep. There's like tons of different kinds, right? There are, yeah. It's kind of confusing. It is very confusing. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah that's one of the hardest parts of geology. Yeah. Very similar. Especially when they all have copper in them. Yeah. And calcite. Do you think they're hiding giant's bones in the Smithsonian? Giants bones and alien technologies? It's possible. Who knows what they're hiding? Yeah. I've been to the back of the Smithsonian before, and there's a lot of stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's where Indiana Jones put all the good stuff, right? Yeah, no, because it's like in the movies, they just go to racks and racks of stuff, and that's just the alien looking yeah, at the warehouses. Actually, you want to play a bit of a game? Let's do it. So, only three of these rocks are meteorites. All right. Or so three of them are meteorites, and the challenge is to figure out which of the three are the meteorites. This one for sure. Yeah, that's one of the three. Then. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Everyone, uh, that's tough. <laughs> so you can pick up and hold all these. Oh, and okay. Let's say. This one? Yep, that's one of three. All right, and. This is, an, this is a hematite, right? Yep. So I guess I'm going to say this one. Yep, that's the third one. Yay! That's actually the oldest rock that you will ever touch. Really? Because it is the oldest stuff that's in the solar system. Do I win the rest of your Frito pie? Yeah. There's my Frito pie. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, but actually that's really cool because basically before there were any plants or anything, there was, uh, we were basically a ring of dust around the sun. And some of that dust came together but never got big enough to actually melt and turn anything. So that's, if you look at the cut site, you can see a lot of little particles in there. That is that space dust that was preserved from four and a half billion years old, years ago. Ooh, space actually, dust. This one, the first one that you held, you picked. That's the other type of meteorite. That's called an iron meteorite. That is the core of a planet. It's real fragile. Yeah. So basically, after we were a bunch of dust, it started to form a ton of little small planets that were zipping around and running into each other. And all we have left from a lot of those is that iron nickel metal core. So if you dig to the center of the Earth, that's the kind of metal that you'll find. It's awesome. You should make just like yourself a house key out of this. Oh yes, yeah, so actually, like a lot of people use that to make art because you might see around here some people have meteorite metal meteorite necklaces. And they kind of have a crosshatch pattern. That one, it looks like it doesn't have it, but you have to etch it with acid to actually get to see that crosshatch pattern. So yeah, that like, pattern's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of like a Damascus <clears throat> alloy, where before you etch it, it's just metal, but once you etch it, you can see the different uh, alloys that are mixed in. Looks like an alien microchip. Exactly. Is this uh, Del, Del El Campo from Argentina, or? Uh, I don't think that's an El Campo. I don't remember. What are those embers? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, basically, all the rocks here are kind of rocks that you find in New Mexico. The meteorites are from Africa, but that's just because those are the more most accessible kinds. Nice. I have a lot of friends that go down south to look for these. Oh, yeah? 
got really popular after Tom Green made that video. Oh, absolutely. I've never seen the video. <laughs> I've actually heard about it. Same thing, I've never actually seen the video. <laughs> What's in here? So, different slices of rocks. That's actually a tool that we use as geologists to be able to say what kind of minerals are in a rock. So, if you can get it to focus, there's a lot of really bright colors. So, that is going to be a slice of this rock right here. Wild! So, that is a equidite. It's a very unusual metamorphic rock that comes from actually a pretty deep mantle. Wow! And basically, the colors that you see in there are created by the microscope, so, I mean, is it, is it, can you see it? Yeah. So if I turn this, the colors kind of disappear. So Trippy. But those colors Whoa. are made by polarizing in there, and the brighter the colors are, the more the minerals are diffracting the light. So you see some kind of like roundish dark minerals in there? Yeah, it's like kind of pinks and stuff. And Yeah, you see some, are there any like kind of gray, roundish? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, those are these red garnets. Oh, trippy. And they don't refract light, so light goes straight through, and it doesn't make it all the way through the top polarizer, so it looks dark. So because we see those round dark minerals, we can say, oh, we don't have a dark. Oh, wow. So it's a tool that we use to say, oh, this is where the minerals actually are in the world. That is so cool. It's really like, actually, here, look at this one. That is a slice of meteorite. Yeah, that's a meteorite. So that's a slice of these orange little black meteorites. Okay, that's where I'm from. But it's got lots of really small minerals in them, and those minerals are bright white. So they're really bright colors. And actually, if I turn it, those colors are kind of going to shift and change. But if you're thin, because it's determined by the type of mineral and also the angle that mineral is made. But there's also some like finer sand. Trippy. Okay. Kaleidoscope. Okay, I was just gonna say that. That's one of my favorites because it kind of looks like space. And if you want, there's an app that you can download. But for real though, we need to know what are you gonna do with that Frito pie? I think I'm gonna hold it. I mean, you know the beans that come down, they have to eat a little bit. Yeah. What it does is it basically overlays this. Thank you, my friend, for all your kindness. See you, brother. Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> That was fun. <sighs> Look at all this. How you doing? How you doing? You know what somebody ages them? She said somebody just texted me and said, I'm watching the show your ad on Lapidary Dave. And I go, Lapidary Dave, are you talking about the Denver show? I didn't know you were here. Oh yeah, I live in Taos. Oh, that's so awesome. it's just like I gotta come. This is our first time here. Are you having it's a good time? My it's my birthday. No, it is. Yeah, it is. Yay. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Dave. That's awesome. Right, yeah, I'll show you. It's the, where is it? It's over the second. Oh. Thank you. Hey, wait, you're so much younger wait, than I am. So. I was going to say, are we going on that birthday what year, date, what year, though? What year were you born? 90. <laughs> Yeah. No, wait, 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 I want to hug you again. That was cool. Hold on. I gotta get my camera. Oh, oh my god, I feel like I'm at Disney World. I know. Yeah, but but you might feel like you're at Disney. I feel like I'm a goofy at Disney World. <laughs> okay, you guys. Actually, that's funny you say that. All right, I got it. My son, when he was little, uh, we took so him to cool. Disney World and we were doing a picture with, uh, with Goofy. No I way. I get the damn camera to work. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Are you guys? I have to say, we got some customers because so of you. Oh, man. They do uh, video stuff. I'm Kayla. Well, honestly, this gentleman's polish is some of the best out there, period. So it's <laughs> right here. When you look at all this stuff, this is thousands of hours of this gentleman's time. <laughs> so it, it and uh it's it's underpriced <laughs> it's very affordable you you have such a great polish it's good to see you again my friends look at that yeah is this from turkey Oh, 
Look at that. Would you recognize it if no, you just saw no. it? No, it's Morocco. I beg your pardon, my friend. I don't know if I can get it back one-handed. Sure. It deserves sure. to be babied. You're right. I would have trouble too. That's the type of uh, rock that sells houses right there. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, in Tucson, I meet a lot of people who are just there for decor. Yeah, so what's your favorite kind of rock? I like agates now. Well, tur I'm a turquoise freak. Okay. But um, because of my friend Sweet Jim, got i was staying in southern california and it's just the like, guy told me he's like straight to my face he's like we don't even like agate it's a turquoise out here we're agate people <laughs> agate and jaspers yeah that's a tough question my friend i'll be honest it's just a pleasure and an honor. Like anything would be fine, but I'm not expecting anything. It's just a pleasure. But it's your birthday. birthday. I know, yeah. but she, she's already going to be taking care of it. It's my sister. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, like, sir, sir, yeah. Sir, sir, yeah, why not? Yeah, let's look at your dog. That's a good Marley. Marley! <laughs> How's Marley doing? Hey, Marley. Yeah, I've actually started watching you now. Like, I never watched Lucy, but after we were on the show, I watched it. Now I get like all this knowledge. You know, you know, I mean, like, and then I started helping these guys, and now I'm like trying to be as knowledgeable. Oh, you're lucky that, you know, working with these folks, you know, no offense, there's a, a lot of folks selling, you know, tumbled amethysts and rose quartz, and that's cool and all, but this is art. I'm trying not to, like, zone into anything else, just doing the flash. Well, and people try to convince you, you should do this, you should do that. Well, collector specimens are supposed to have a square grade. Sure. And you know, I try to explain to the customer that, you know, once a mine goes dry, that piece is going to own the opportunity. You know, I know Thank you, Casey, so much. Look at that. Great shadowing on that. The center is even fantastic. Have you been working on anything new this year? Well, I, uh, I got a buddy who's 73, and he's been willing to... Sorry if I smudged that up, my friend. No, my friend, it's too nice. <laughs> it's too nice, my friend. No. Are you sure? Dude, are you sure it's too good? Give me a hug. Yo, I didn't come here to guilt trip anybody into anything. This is fantastic. No, you know your videos are awesome. Dude, you're so, awesome. So my, my buddy in uh, Cascade County, California, who's 73 now, and he says, I can't cut this rock. And I said, well, Dave, I said, no, Steve. I said, Steve, sell me some really nice bigger pieces because people like the bigger pieces for displays of the house. So he sold me some of this stuff, and then he sold me some of this stuff. Those are two pieces of ground within the last couple weeks. Um, and then he has this stuff. He sold me some of these. This is just a black rocket from the back. The Thunder Egg? When he sold you the Thunder Eggs, he gave me something way too good. <laughs> I don't deserve it. Then he, then he sold me this purple amethyst. Now, this Whoa. is really high quality. Yeah, that is stunning. So, so he parted with some of that stuff. And, and uh, that's when it's more purpley, it's more better. Um, and he sold me some of this graveyard point. Oh, wow, that must be older Graveyard Point for yeah, sure. Because he's got their big chunks. And 
And remember, um, some people are marketing this as Regency Rose Agate, but it's, it's actually Graveyard Point also. And so he sold me a bunch, a few big stones of that stuff, right? How big is the rough look like? They're huge. What are you using, a 24 or? It's a 24. Oh, wow. If I had a bigger saw, I'd cut bigger, but I don't. <laughs> 24 is as big as I got. That Amethyst Sage is stunning. I, I think, honestly, you have one of the best products here at this show. And it's all handmade, and the polish is awesome. Is it all cerium? Or? It's all cerium oxide. I'm getting better at it. You know, I've only been doing it 10 years. Yeah. But I, I built some new equipment. I'd tell you about it, but I don't want everybody to do it. No, it's okay. <laughs> when it's done, just sell me a piece if, you, if you're ever going to put it in production. It is a lapidary renaissance. It is the best time to make your own machine. And, and here's the thing, get rid of the idea that it has to be the cheapest too. People would rather have the best over the cheapest any day. Right. You know, there's gonna be a lot of people who want, you know, two wheel polys as for $50, but then they build up and they become like you and they become rock geniuses. I forgot, he sold me these too. So oh, wow. the, the Gary Green, you know, or they call it Larsenite, or they call it Freedom Jasper. That stuff there, he parted with a bunch of nice big chunks of that too. So, and we got the Blue Mountain Orbs Jasper. I just bought it at the Denver show. So I cranked these out in the last week and a half. Oh, wow. And, and this one over here. Whoa. They got kind of a blue looking ocean color bottom. And of course they have the orbs jasper. Got blue mountain orbs jasper. This is my favorite stuff anyway. When I bought these, I cut that's the eighth stone I cut. I bought 17 of them. And the eighth stone I cut was finally a good one. That is amazing. It's like a moon over an alien ocean. And this came off that rock too, and see how it went to brown on the bottom. It still has some orbs in it, kind of that mountain pattern on it. And so that ends up being one of our best sellers. Because not a lot of people do Jasper. A lot of people do Alpha. Right. Yeah. No, someone just here in the chat just now said, good Jasper is not cheap. <laughs> it's not good to find. I mean, it's not hard to find. I mean, excuse me, it's not easy to find. Right, right. Like this is the same as this. This is Blue Mountain. But you see how this has just very little gravel in it? And mm. this one's full of gravel. Okay. So you can have good oak Blue Mountain or you end up with really good Blue Mountain. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So yeah, I got about nine more of those to cut. Are you having fun? Oh yeah. This stuff is about from 30 miles from the house. Grapes Jasper, it's from uh, Wyoming. You're it's, in Denver area now? Well, no, we moved up. I retired a year ago, so we moved everything up to uh, Torrington, Wyoming, just a little pick town. Fantastic. But mom's up there. I decided she's 90 and I just wanted to live by her. That's, you know, so. you're gonna never regret that. Yeah, I, I believe so. And mom's in great shape. So this stuff fluoresces to dark green. So, wow. Let me get the black light I got to I'd love to see. And if I could have a card too. Yeah, this gentleman's stuff, it's just amazing polish and uh, so affordable. It's a family business. Just someone passionate about the rocks that they cut. You know, a lot of the passion you won't find a lot of the passion that these folks have and other vendors who aren't cutting their own material. You know, I bet you this gentleman's probably working late into the night sometimes. Okay. Here. Oh, get back out here where it's a little darker. Go ahead. Um, let's see, see how it fluoresces to Oh, yeah. To dark 
little bit through there. Just a little greener. Oh, that's pretty good through there. See that green? Oh, yeah. A uh, little bit of green and blue up here. But there's a rancher that's by Guernsey that I get this stuff from. He hasn't showed me where he got it. <laughs> His honey hole. Nobody, nobody else has it. We decided to call it Brakes Jasper because these are Jasper, you know, brushiated Jasper pieces in agate. So, pretty cool stuff. I had some bigger chunks of it that sold it all. Yeah. Check out Down to Earth Rock Shop. Donna and Mark McMahon. You can scan the QR code, folks. It's a little bit easier if you pause the video. But that does work. Yeah, kind of young guy-ish, says somebody. Young guy? Yeah, here's a big chunk of young guy over here. And it, it comes from the same area as that stuff. Oh, interesting. Somebody yeah. thought that it looked kind of similar. And so this is young eye right here. Which is also UV reactive, right? It is, but it's blue. It's not green. That is a beautiful piece. Look at all the jerseys on the side. Yes, so you can see how it fluoresces to blue. A lot of people target this stuff for the, uh, the jersey on it, you know. And they're looking for big chunks with jersey all over the top. And you flip it over and then you have the polish on it. And I have had some of those, but I've sold them all. So this one, yeah. That comes from the Guernsey area also, North Platte River. Fantastic. It's only two places in the world that young eye comes from. It's that area. And some place over I've heard in Asia. Um, is young eye what they call, also called cave agate? I don't think so. Well, if they I do, know, it's a... Uh... They find it typically, um, there's some cap rock up above the river. Sometimes they find it up in the cap rock. But I've also heard that when they drain the reservoir, they find it in caves in the reservoir, but I'm not going to go. <laughs> um, did you happen to buy this rough Highland Act when you bought it rough? Did you get it from Highland Park? When this material first came out, I think it went straight to Highland Park, and they wouldn't tell anybody where it came from. Is that That's still right. a is I it still a mystery? Is it still a, is it still a mystery or is yeah, the word I out? I don't know which which island. They wouldn't tell from. they they wouldn't tell anybody. I worked for Island Park and they didn't even tell me. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I think that did come from Island. It's really good, and you know, uh, the secret kind of is plays a big part in the in the stone. Yeah, you know, there if they get it for. <clears throat> an agate genius. And he, he was the one that this stuff. Really? I, I can't remember his name. That year he worked for them is the year I worked for them. And uh, the gentleman was an agate. He was very this, good. An old timer. Glass yeah, of gray hair. Glasses. Kind of had a cough, yeah. yeah. Hopefully it wasn't from the agate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, those bull wheels and those Richardson ranches. They're tough. You got to be safe. Yeah, I wear a respirator. I, I will not lie. Sometimes I am lazy. And I'll just, but there's no excuse. When, when it's dry? Oh, I mean, some, you know, and also polishing. Yeah. You should wear a respirator when polishing. And I'm like, oh, I'll just, it takes two seconds. <gasps> Hold my breath, put my shirt over my face. <laughs> no, that's not good or enough. Or even with your saws. And, and oh. You know, you open them up and there's the cloud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, never breathe that. Not really. Oh, man, thank you so much for your kindness. Oh, sure. Dude. <laughs> You're very welcome. Do you think you'll be in Tucson? If even just a buyer? We're going to go buy some rough rock. Well, I hope we to see you there. We have an Airbnb for, that's the first time I met you, was over by that MP products. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was buying rock there, and I saw you. So, but then you came by the Denver show and you took a video of us. A very nice one. So. Well, it's hard to, to pass up on that opportunity. You have such amazing stuff, dude. Like, look at that polish. I've actually got better since then. And you're going to continue to get better. Yes. Better and better. You know, here's the thing. The best polish I have ever seen in my life came from a guy from Argentina who brings over those condors or something very similar. And he's an actor. And he just fell in love with rocks. He swears up and down he uses a bull wheel with straight from the saw to a 100 grit, then to a, no, he uses a Richardson, uh, for, to 100 grit, to a worn out 220, 
straight to cerium. That is it. How worn out this 220 is is a huge you know deal. I, 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 yo, there's so many little things in between that, like, the three things he told me is the least of what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, like, how worn out is this 220? How is he holding it? But that's what you're going to find on your agate journey. And maybe you'll, I could pick your brain one day and get half as good as you, dude. Thanks again, my friend. Yeah, thanks, dude. <laughs> dude, thank right. you so much. Oh, thanks. Thank, thank you. you so much. Such a pleasure to see you. Thanks for the agate, man. I love it, dude. I don't deserve this nice piece of Laguna. It's fantastic. <coughs> Look at those. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, look at the beautiful Ricolite. You must be the artist, huh? Wow. That is just stunning. These birds are only $30? Do you take a card? Oh, wow. I got to get a quail. How long have you been making these? 20 something years. I first started making them for a Christmas gift. Just, you know, something to do. <laughs> you know, it's not the biggest one, but I want this little cutie right here. If that's all right with you, I gotta pay with the card, or I can go to the ATM if you'd like. like my brother said Christmas gifts are, are the R and D department, research and development department. <laughs> oh, that's a great. Once you get those down, then you can start making them. Can I hand this to you so I don't put the card on? <laughs> yeah. So, if you don't mind me asking, when you're you're making these, you're not using traditional lapidary wheels. You're using hand tools, right? No, I use a. Uh, Mostly an eight inch expandable drum pattern. Really? And even for like the backs of the tails and stuff? You're just using you're just using the corners for the back of the tails and such? Yeah. Impressive, dude. And like for the curves like in here and stuff. You know, I fold the belt over the edge. So it gives you a rounded surface to stand in the curves. Oh, let me see. They're all so cute. Okay, I'll, I'll get that one. But this one was my second favorite. For $30, I should just buy them all, dude. <laughs> These are, uh, I think, on the level of those beautiful origin of the Peruvians. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Someone is from outside of Silver City. Is that, they call Grant County, I think, or? Look at that. Wow. This piece right here is worth every penny of 150, if not closer to $300. I just did those. Oh, that's about a month ago. Oh, you're a great lapidary, my friend. Look at that. A lot of you folks watching might not be as passionate about serpentine as me, but being New Mexican and being a lapidary, um, Ricolite is a, has a special place in every New Mexican lapidary's heart, you know? <laughs> I, I love it. It's the first material I ever cut. That in the Lapidolite from Dixon. I must have cut thousands of cabochons of those. <laughs> uh, I taped it down. Oh, thank so you, my I'm friend. Pick it up by the base. Though. Absolutely. The eyes and the beak are Akama Jet. Akama Jet? What is that from? Is that New Mexico? Oh, fantastic. Just west of here. Oh, wow. How long have you been a lapidary? Uh, over 45 years. Oh, wow. And have you been using that expandable the whole time? Oh, wow. Silicon carbide? Well, I use a flex shaft for drilling and stuff. You know. mm -hmm. But for the, for the shaping and all that, I just use the 
regular eight in? Um, uh, if you don't mind me asking, on your expandable, are you using a diamond belt or a silicon carbide? Nice. I use a silicon carbide for everything, although I have a diamond four screen, which I just got a few years ago. It changed my life. <laughs> oh, wow. Especially for doing inlay because it's so smooth. You must be Robert. Robert Donovan. Robert S. Donovan. T. U. K. Well, there's another Robert Donovan shelter thing somewhere in Texas. <laughs> oh, wow. That's why I got to put the S in there. Do you want a receipt? No, thank you, my friend. It's okay, can I trouble you to put that in my wallet? Where is my wallet? <coughs> I, at the at the uh, Durango show, I put my credit card right on camera. <laughs> Look at these little bears. Is that a catlinite bear? Is it the pipestone? It's just no. The rock I picked up out of an arroyo down the pipe where this other stuff is from. <laughs> awesome. It's just iron. It's got iron in it. That's why it's red. I like your bear style. Most people's bears are really just straightforward. Well, the, the, the zoomy ones and stuff are blocky and just flat, you know? The bears are 25? Wow. That is just wildly affordable. I don't see how you can even have inventory because it's they're so mm -hmm. affordable. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't mind me asking, since they're this affordable, is it this affordable because you can make them so fast? I thought that must that has to be the case because these are so great. Well, I mean, if I was to make them out of agate, they would cost. Oh, <laughs> yeah, true. Thank you, Robert. I really appreciate you. You're a fantastic artist. Robert S. Donovan. It's a pleasure to have one of your pieces, brother. Are these yours too? Oh, are these yours? Oh, nice. Look at that. It's fantastic. Oh, what did that piece of turquoise go that was right here? It kind of looked like... Oh, here it is. You folks from around here? Zuni? Oh, Las Lunas, nice. This is Dave. This is Dave. I hear you. I look at your videos. Really? Yeah. What a pleasure. Thank you. At Diamond, Diamond Pacific. Mm-hmm. the first. I didn't even know they were there until you introduced me. You got to go there. You have to. Three dollars a pound. Really? But they work at the store. Were oh. you at the store or at the yard? They're the same. They're right next to each other. Oh, okay. Uh, but if you ever get the chance, go there. Three dollars a pound. There's some things in there that should be two hundred dollars a pound. Wow. And they're just so honest. They'll be like, "Oh, I can't believe you found that. Three dollars, you know." And where is that at? Uh, Barstow, California. Mm. You know, the gas is gonna be crazy. Okay, but... I'm confused because Diamond Pacific, where my sisters work at, is downtown. In Barstow? Yeah, in the main street. Okay, so it must He's be. 15th Street. The, yeah, it is. It's not downtown then. It's somewhere it's different. Different. It must be different. Like yeah, it is, but it's. But it's still Diamond Pacific. Yeah, and it's still in Barstow. <laughs> you gotta go. Okay. <laughs> if it's in Tucson, you so, might as well go ahead and go yeah, on over to Barstow. Well, my sisters live there, so. <laughs> oh. But, so you gotta drive through Las Vegas to get on that road going to Las Vegas. I am not gonna lie to you. I've never got a driver's license. So I'm usually not just playing with my phone and not even staring out the window. And I'm so sorry. I can't, you can look it up online though. Uh, it's so embarrassing. I wish I could. <laughs> but I was say yard and I'm like, they don't work at a yard. They work at a store. And I'm just 
That is a great piece of turquoise, huh? What do you think it is? Okay, where's David? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Hey, I don't know my stones. I'm a green So, a better question is, what does it cost? These are only $10, yeah, huh? Yeah, Wow. That's pretty, huh? That is fantastic. It could be so many different things. Well, the king knows it. Um... No, no, ma'am. You don't need a light on it when you're <laughs> yeah. doing your thing. <laughs> so do you go to all the fairs? I try to go to at I least chose. Quartzsite, Denver, and Tucson. My grandma did Tucson for 30 years. Oh, my god! And I didn't really even like rocks. I made my living as a musician. Oh. And, uh... A, a rock star? <laughs> yeah, I guess. You know, I used to... I, I joke, I said... I used to pray to God and say, I want to be a rock star, and this is not what I meant, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I should have been more specific. <laughs> this one is... Turquoise. Do you is know what kind? Uh, it's like a peak. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, and it's $10? Yeah. Yeah. There's stabilized turquoise. That is fantastic. No, you're not getting in my way. You give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You're never in my way. Okay, well, I mean, I, I don't know if your you're light, you oh, have the right okay. amount of light that you want. or This is this is not, I, I'm always partial to blue, so when they get to where they got blue in them, I get all excited. Look, look at the blues in this, these. I think, yeah, yeah, those are great shadow kites. Uh, Bisbee, Chris, and Cola. Oh, nice. Yeah. Some of the Chris and Cola from Bisbee can be worth a lot more than some turquoise. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you doing all the cutting? I do the cutting. Yeah, he, yeah. This is all his That is fantastic. She wraps all those. So you just have to look around there at the things she wraps. They're to die for. Let's go take a look. Some other. Oh, man. You got a bit of everything. Yeah. Look at those. Did you cut those? No, I did not. I was going to say, you got to teach me how you did that because right. I, I can't do it that perfect. <clears throat> This one. I love that one. Oh, and that no, the old one. I'm only human. That that's from like a freaking yeah, somebody was really somebody good. Was very small <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what, Jake? Jacob is fascinating. Something fascinating. Some Look at these. He does a little bit of stone like that. I try to do a facet one, and I when I got left, there wasn't anything lit. You know, when I got done, there wasn't anything oh, left. Oh yeah. <laughs> these are really cool little Hopi Kachina cabs, huh? Little and the blue one is the lapis. It, the blue. That the blue is lapis. That's lapis. Okay, I'm learning. How are you doing, Hannah? Thank you so much for watching. How much is this bag? Sixty-nine dollars. That is not bad. That is a really good time. deal. If you know what you're doing, you pay off this bag in two pieces, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I need it. I need it. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> that is such a crazy good deal. You can take it home. No, true. <laughs> what do you think these are? They look really cool. Yeah. These stones appear to be moist. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Yeah. I picked up a quantity of mixed stuff, so I got them kind of separated into something that looks close to each other. $90 for this fat bag of unstabilized, unstabilized anything, this should be $200. Right, right. <laughs> I remember back in the day, I would see Campitos for $30, $40 a pound. Right. Now I'm seeing it sung with silver and stuff, $180 a pound. Exactly. It's a, not only it's a turquoise renaissance, it's a lapidary renaissance, and nothing is ever in our lifetime going to be cheaper. Yep. You are correct. So I should just not have lunch and buy this bag. I think you're correct. <laughs> I think that's what you should do exactly. You take a card, my friend? I think you'll have fun putting that rock. Oh, yeah, Michael does.
Thank you so much, Joseph, for the birthday wishes. Oh, yeah, those birds. Robert S. Donovan, he's a really good artist. My friend, I'm doing a live video, but I am going to come back for this. Okay. If it's gone, it shouldn't be gone. And I'm not going to wait for you to start packing up to come back either. Okay. <laughs> I know it's the last day. That's beautiful silverwork. Oh, wow. Look, at that's really unique. Some of the way she, her bales at the top. Oh, yeah. The bales are the hardest part. I, my grandpa's been begging me to learn why wrapping forever. He said, you know, if you have a bunch of cabs and you're out on the road, especially like on tour with music, you know, I can't take a torch and I can't take a bunch of silver out to, to bezel. And, um, and then they, they had a geode. Uh, oh, look at that. And it's dangling, huh? Look at she that. She comes up with neat ways to, to cut them and polish them, and she, she makes a beautiful... It's super affordable. Wire. Well, she said, if I don't want to pay that much, then uh, they probably don't either, and she's always very... I guess, but she's the artist. That should be $80. Uh, well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and her, her uh, motorcycles and then her oh, guitars. God. Those, ha those Harleys right there. Here's some. Oh, I love the selenite stands. And then her guitars. Music, music. People that are into music. Yeah, they're into music. <laughs> you play a guitar? Well, because my grandson plays the guitar. My son plays guitar, drums. What do you play? Keyboard. Uh, mostly guitar and accordion. Okay. Oh, wow. yeah, Someone asked me if I could make a piano. I'm like, uh. uh <laughs> yeah, with, with all 132 keys. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a card? Oh, here. Second glance. Great name. With Maria and David. There's the emails. That is fantastic. When Carol's the artist, she did this. Oh, they're fine. Oh, nice. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's really good. Good job. Look at the uh, copper engraving here she does. Isn't that unique? Very unique. The br the wow. What? That is fantastic. Oh, this one? That is fantastic. Nice. Is it a cactus or a ponderosa pine? <laughs> yeah, that's a great piece of Montana agate, too. It probably shines in the light. Thank you so much for your kindness, Maria. Now I'll be back to talk to Dave. Me and you, baby. I want that turquoise. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you. <coughs> Whoo, I'm sweating. I'm a sweaty boy. Whoa. Only only $370? That should be that should be 800 bucks. Can I take a picture of you over there? Yeah, let's take a picture. Can you hold that for me? Thanks for watching. Did you make those chocolates? Uh, I made, I did this when I cut this Royston, I mean um, Kingman, and I made this one here, this is all sorted stones. Dang. Yeah, it's all sorted stones, and I bought it from this guy in the flea market over here. He sold the bag of chocolates because he was getting out of the, getting out of the, out of the game. And uh, he sold me a big old uh, bag for 10 bucks, and then they were already cut. He had a guy that was doing that, uh, what do you call it? He was doing uh, inlay for him, right? So we had all
Dave's got a fan club following him around here. Sorry for the, the pause here. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Bring your guitar. Yeah, we'll go down to. I have an Ibanez. Ibanez uh, electric acoustic. Oh, nice. Yo. Beautiful. I had some other ones, but I sold them. This is an original Johnny Chavez. He just gave me. What? I can't even take this. You're giving me goosebumps. Look at my gooses. Got me shaking over here, man. Thank you so much, brother, dude. You got it, bro. Have a good day. I'll, I'll see you, you in Tucson, yeah. bro. You got it. Dang, oh, dang. Look at that. Thank you. It's a beast. Thank you, Johnny Chavez. Thank you for watching, my brother. How do you take something like that from somebody? Yikes. What? I love your videos. I watch them all the time. On Yo, YouTube. thank you so much. No, you're the best. So fun to watch. And I just saw you playing the guitar on video last night for the first time and you're amazing you're oh, such a good guitarist i it's took like, the video down because it was such a bad angle right no, in my but, belly but it sounded so good it's so <laughs> you're an amazing guitar player thank really you so good. much yeah what's your name mary mary yeah it's nice David. to meet you yeah pleasure to meet you yeah yeah well me and my boyfriend we watch your videos all the time we love watching you tucson and all these shows it's just really fun and thank you for no thank you you yeah. made my day yeah <laughs> One more time? Mary. Mary. Yeah, we bought rocks from you. Um, but you guys, when you were picking up those agates out in California. Did you do anything with them? Not yet. We're going to tumble them. And awesome. And also cut them. We're just we're learning how to carry now. So. You're going to love it. If you ever yeah. need any help, I think I give my phone number away. Okay. You guys, you and your boyfriend can call anytime for any help. Okay. Those things are treasures. We would love yeah. to go get more. Yeah. But it was 115. Oh when God. we were there in that March, was, yeah. right now, it'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah we were, insane. we were gonna like go on Craigslist and find yeah. people to come help us find them. Yeah, but no one will come out there for. It's just, just <laughs> too hot. But anyway, we have the box. We're ready. We're getting ready to call. You guys have I'll my send number. Picture. Send me yeah. pictures. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. Pleasure yeah. to meet you. Nice. No way, M T A T. What a blessing. Blessing. Yeah, of course. Man, look at that. I can't pull that off. That's like... I feel like I'm here. I need a cigar. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of these awesome slabs. I can tell you right now, for $3, this, this is like a $25, $30 slab right there. So here's the thing about that bird. I couldn't afford the bird. I had 50 bucks and I spent 10 of it on the way here. Uh, but I dropped that bowl. And I think the guy got really mad. So I'm like, I'll buy a bird really quick and he won't hate me. It's worth 30 bucks. That bird's worth 30 bucks. But I couldn't afford it. And, um, but that's the story of that. Of, uh, and then I got to check out Robert's stuff personally. You know, it's a, it's a good way to break the ice. How you doing? I recognize your voice. Oh, I'm thank Dan. you. I'm Dan. I watch your videos. Too. Yo, thank you, brother. Did you make that thing? Oh, no. I found this in Arizona. It's a costume that I like. Is it older? It's probably older than we are. Yeah, it's all uh, safety pins. What? They look cool. It's all wet? Safety pins? Oh, it oh, sure nice. is. But I'm going to use it as inspiration to do some like tips like this or something. Just like little yeah. dangly beads. Are you going to make them for yourself or to sell? I'm going to be selling bolos here soon. Let me tell you something about bolo tips. If you go online, like eBay and Etsy, yeah. 
You can find basic brass bolo tips. Yeah. They'll be like $30 for a set of brass bolo tips. There's a huge market right now for designer bolo tips, dude. Because the stuff, just the stuff you find every day at like Sunwest Silver or something, they're selling online for so much money that something like that or what you're going to make is going to be incredible. Have you seen his... That, that's the president of uh, Albuquerque German Minerals. The gentleman Jay? with the... Yeah, with, you know him? No, I don't. Is he... Uh, he's, the he's walking away right now? Yeah. yeah he's oh, the cool. president of the Albuquerque German Minerals Society. And he has some bolos over there. They're, they're old school, but um, they have squash blossom tips. They're heavy duty. His is name is Jay? Yeah. Oh, I will definitely go do that. Okay. Dude, well, what a pleasure, man. Thanks, brother. Yo, great price. Way too affordable. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I still have a lot of rock. <laughs> I, I've got stuff at home. I got my pile of, I want to cab myself up. Well, and that's, you deserve it. <laughs> and then the rest is just, I bought to that <laughs> You're doing people a big service at this yeah. price. Thank you so much. <laughs> Grandpa get out much? Uh, it's pretty old now. Yeah, she doesn't like to go places so much. Oh. What were you thinking? Oh, I don't know if he was here. Oh, no, no, no. She would come here, but um, her Suburban gets like four miles four, four oh, miles to the okay. gallon, you know? Your grandpa, he makes pipes and stuff. Right? Yeah, he definitely doesn't get out that much. Um, Ruben Medina, he doesn't like to... He's just a homebody. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah, I wish Lynn would be here. Oh, okay. But... Uh, Right now, she's got a like a 70 drum order to Japan. That's like every waking moment, huh. and like what she make? Native American hand drums. Oh. And uh, it's like every moment of every day. She's just, you know, we don't want the Yakuza come knocking on our door. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Take it easy, my friend. Wow, that's so cool. Ooh. So much stuff. I feel like this show is this is the coolest year that it's been so far. You know, I've I've come here every single year, but it seems like there's a lot more. Um... Oh, that's cool. Those are fantastic. Yeah, and they're su you know they're super UV reactive. Really nice display. Look at that seahorse. Jeez Louise. You love that azure right, right there. So cool. Yeah. Got, the, got my Johnny Chavez on right there. Back up. <laughs> you want to try it on? <laughs> Oh, thanks. Uh, someone just gave it to me. Someone gave it to me. No way. <laughs> no. no, yeah, he recognized me from YouTube, and he's a great artist. And he was too kind. I couldn't take it. He was going to make me cry. Oh, my God, that's amazing. He was, I will, dude. Johnny. That looks good on you, too, though. It's just a little bit bigger than my normal ranks. Can you help me put it on? <laughs> put it on my thumb. Look at these beautiful minerals. What is that? That's a fluoride, I assume. Thank you, Grounded Muse. It's phthalorite. Oh, very affordable. Especially these fluorites are really affordable. You would think that would be four hundred dollars. Look at that. So aquamarines, I am not gonna touch these. I love Veracruz amethyst. Very beautiful. Phthalorite is from Spain and most refractive? I don't know. This is from Peru. I don't know. Very cool. Oh yeah, those kids talking about stardust turning into rocks. Yeah, right, get out of town. 
I don't believe that at all. <laughs> Are you Jay? I heard you're the president of the Gem Society? Yeah. It's a pleasure and an honor to meet you, brother. For a while longer. Oh, what's gonna? <laughs> you gonna retire? You think? Our elections are, uh, you know, for next year. To start in January. Oh. That somebody else is gonna do it. Pass the fun and the pressure there off to of someone go. else. That's right. Um, some, so I film like the Tucson shows and the Denver shows. It's all educational. Uh -huh. Somebody said I should ask you if we could take a look at some of your beautiful bolos. Down there at the end. All righty. Oh, cool. I've never seen an Orthoceros bolo before. You know, this material is from Morocco, and you see a lot of like, <laughs> yeah, just I guess um, a gentleman, a taller, redheaded gentleman, said you had some amazing vintage bolos over yeah, here. Yeah, that's one of them. I've never seen an Orthoceros these, these made in. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's pottery, huh? Yeah. Whoa, and that's, is that like old Anasazi or Pueblo or? It's an old piece of uh, pottery. I don't know where, I don't know. I wouldn't know what it is. is are those really only $5? Yeah. That is incredible. You, you, you can't get lunch in this town for $5, nope. brother. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's pre-COVID pricing. It's a heck of a situation. Incredible. So this gentleman, Jay, he's the president of the uh, Albuquerque Gem and Mineral Society. And the tall redheaded gentleman I was talking to earlier said I had to come meet him and check out his stuff. Hey, Cody, thanks for the super chat. I really appreciate your videos and your personality. No, I appreciate you, Cody. I couldn't do it without folks like you. Look at this. Beautiful silicated malacola freeform and some kind of cool backing. I wonder if it's a, is it like um, a JB Weld or is it a... I don't know, but it's really cool. Thank you, Anthony. I really appreciate your kindness for the birthday wishes. This is great. Yeah, I was telling uh, I really? Yo, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name, brother? Uh, Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Heck yeah. Are you just shopping or are you vending? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get anything good yet? Hey, that's a great one. You gonna put it in something? I don't know, I'll just check it out. You know, it's fun to just buy stuff. If I bought that, I'd lose it on the way home, man. <laughs> Heck yeah. Good to see you. Pleasure to meet you, Kevin. Check out that horse. Made out of wood, but what kind of wood? Uh, looks softer, maybe like a bossa. Or what do they carve? They call it not boxwood or something. I don't know. I used to be a sculptor for years with wood. I cut my hands so much, I don't really miss it at all. But the Orthoceros, you know, staple Moroccan fossil. You usually see these made into pieces for home decor and such, but it makes a great bolo. Cool stamped bezel there. Stamping this bezel probably took as long as it did to solder to the backing. And I love that these hoops on the bottom guiding the bottom of the, the leather so it doesn't spread out. You know, you want it to hang the right way. Yo, Cloud Massacre, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. I really appreciate you. Thanks for the birthday wishes, Downs. I appreciate you. Thank you, Candace. Looks like the cell phone bandwidth at the venue might be overloaded, getting a lot of video compression artifacts. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about that. Uh, I might be able to ask someone for the Wi-Fi password. But I wouldn't know who. That's a 10 inch felt wheel. What kind of machine would you put that on? You can't. Um, 
one of our good friends in Southern California actually just bought a vintage 10-inch lapidary machine. Nobody makes 10-inch lapidary wheels anymore, so this must be from that generation, if not made by that manufacturer. This is cool. I think this is like a yellow tiger's tail from Mexico. Oh, definitely. Maybe one day you'll be the president of the Albuquerque Gym and Mineral Society, Kayla. Maybe you will. I should not be in charge of anything ever. Absolutely. You can uh, totally put cerium on that. There's a gentleman who has a lapidary and jewelry shop in Taos, New Mexico, who does his cutting at the shop. He uses one of these on a lower tone machine. And even though it spins at 1750 RPM, like a traditional lapidary machine, uh, he still gets a 20 times better polish than me. And so he puts it right on a lapidary machine. It's impressive. Hey, Jay, what kind of machine would you put this 10 inch wheel on? Any kind of an arbor, any kind of a rotating shaft, you put it on there and uh, put whatever uh, polishing compound you want. Some cerium or Lindier or something, whatever, huh? Whatever, and polish whatever, your cabs or whatever. I was just saying there's a, a big one. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> nice. It'll last a long time. Yeah. <laughs> If you ever need to true it up, you still got nine, eight, seven, six inches. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Does the Albuquerque Gem and Mineral Society um, club club do they have uh, like lapidary equipment to use? Yes. And no. We have it. We mm -hmm. can't use it. Wonder why? Because it's at the museum. That's where, that's where we have the Natural History Museum. Is where we used to meet, and that's where our lapidary studio was. And after COVID shut it down, we have not yet got the permission to come back. And that stinks. It. Hopefully someone will well, donate the space. Through, they went through a, uh, a change of uh, manager. You know, the uh, museum director was changed shortly after COVID came back. And, uh, and they had a replacement, you know, a sub in there for a year. And the sub being a good uh, political sub was just filling the spot. He wasn't going to make any decisions. <laughs> oh, man. So, but now I'm told they do have a new person, but we still haven't gotten any word. And that's typical. That was typical before, always dealing with the museum. You're lucky to get an answer to a question in a year. You know, it's just wow. ridiculous. Ridiculous. And that's why we have moved away. We have our meetings now at a church in, uh, Old, in uh, Knob Hill. And I don't know, it might be worth asking them if they've got a room we could put our lapidary studio in. There's somewhere. I didn't even think of it. <laughs> might be. Because they're being very nice having us there and uh, a very affordable rate, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, still more than, well, we were kind of getting it at the museum. We were getting our meetings for free, uh, but we had to have the lapidary studio there. But, and it was a very terrible contract. I, if I had been president then, we would have never signed that memo of understanding with them because it was, they, they could have got to us really bad if things went south. But, uh, anyway, uh, now they're saying they don't want us, they may not let us back until they get another memo of understanding, which last time took two years to get to. <coughs> Hey, William. That's all right. We've been so busy. I have my best. Oh, no. The bots, they're back. Look at this message. I have nothing wrong with adult dating, but... I don't think that's what it's really talking about. <laughs> Those are great. I wonder, what, is that just chrysocolla ore inside of like agatized stuff? Is what they call plasma agate? Thank you, Off Your Rock. Off Your Rocks, you just got deputized. Oh, yes. 
I'll tell you what, this gentleman's stuff is all affordable. The fact that some of these are 50 and 60, which is not a bad deal, must mean that it's probably really valuable and probably really close and worth every penny of that, if not more. I don't know anything about it, but it's uh, really nice stuff. Uh, no, to, I mean, yes and no. I would call it silicated chrysocolla, but when they say gem silica chrysocolla, I like to reserve that for when it's like a just pure translucent agate of that light blue. But, yeah, okay, I'll spare you. <laughs> Mansplain it to you. Dave Splain. Where's that at? Right off of, well, you know where Tucson is. Mm -hmm. Right up by 10, maybe five or... Oh, yeah, I film there, there every year. Okay. okay, yeah, yeah, 17 miles there. out. Oh, cool. I saw you there. Good, to see, good to meet you, Jay. I thought it might be you, but yeah, you, you were filming mostly from the guy across from me. Who? Uh, McKay? No, not McKay. Uh, what is his name? Oh, hippie-looking guy. You ended up buying something from him. If he had uh, turquoise, I get, I'm a phosphate freak, and I kind of hang out in the same spot if too long, if he's, if he's a turquoise guy. I know that yeah. voice, that's laughing every day. Hey, thanks for and watching. Rich, good to see you. Yo, Rich, how you doing, brother? We ran into each other at the um, Santa Fe show up in Buffalo. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That we were looking at junk. slabs. What'd you buy? Slabs, junks, you know. Not oh, junk. I got, some nice, I got some nice stuff from Avila. Nice stone. Look at that. I like, I'm, come on, how can you not love agates, right? Absolutely. And at that price. Agates, steels. I mean, you can't afford to cut them for that price. Yeah, you can't afford lunch for that price. The, work, the, <laughs> the, the, the wear and tear on your saw costs more than that. Yo, great taste. Good to see you, my friend. Keep it up, keep it up. We'll do. Heck yeah. I hope it's not raising the price of everything. Yeah. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now, you know, now maybe mom and pop will be able to make a living. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy, brother. <sighs> I think. What are these? Are these Peruvian or Argentinian? Very affordable. Slabbies. Very affordable. Look at this. Beauties. This is cool. How you folks doing? You having fun yet? Yeah. Always. <laughs> Two more hours of fun. Some of these are so affordable, you couldn't get a coffee for $2 in this town. <laughs> Let alone a beautiful rock. That is great. Cool, braciated piece of jasper. had good results with Clear Creek Plasma Agate. Is that what that stuff was over there? Dave, is your email on channel? I think it might be uh, in the about section, but I give my phone number out all the time if you ever need to message me. I've got so much cutting to do, absolutely. You gotta get a cut. Sorry about that, Rick. I can't really do anything about the video quality. Ugly. So these are uh, geodes. Um, to get them like looking like a specimen, you probably you want to crack them. You don't want to cut them, right? Oh, you sure do. Oh wow. Are you using like a Richardson machine or a bull wheel to polish these? Um, the really small ones I'll do on my. 
wheel grinder, and then the larger pieces I use a water feed angle grinder. Oh, that's your phone on that thing. Oh, oh. yeah. I thought it was some kind of like microphone. I'm scanning for radiation. No, I'm joking. No, it's a phone. <laughs> No, these are just spectacular. Would you consider these Thunder Eggs? Uh, no, they're, they're from Dugway, which is a locality in, in Utah. And what makes them unique is the rye-like crust around them. You get that wood grain looking finish to it. That is awesome. These are great. And after the geo formed in the gas bubble in, in the original rye that secondary flow. Um, if you don't mind me asking, so how do you polish the bigger ones? They use a water feed angle grinder. With oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Diamond cap. Like, Are you using a Highland Park or uh, a different brand? I use a different brand. Is it blue? Uh, no, it's gray. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Harden is the brand that I use. Harden. Yeah, they're, they're about half the cost of everybody else. And, and uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> and the lapidary equipment is becoming like boat equipment. <laughs> it's, you know, it's just, you know, they add $100 to everything just because, you know. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job. You you must be using cerium oxide for your polish, right? No. Straight off the grinding cups. You know, I've been cutting for a long time. And I meet some people who tell me the same thing that you're saying. And they tell me if you do it right, 3000 can look better than some other people's compound polish. If you're doing it right. I just use very light pressure and a decent water. Oh, that is awesome. It takes extra time. Well, you must love what you do. Well, I do. <laughs> oh, nice. <coughs> are all of these from Arizona? Yeah. Except for the Oh, those are beautiful. When you get the teaks, um, do you get them full rock form and you slice them? No, I bought these as they are. Oh, fantastic. That is great. What's your name, my friend? I'm Wayne. Wayne, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm David. All of these you did on uh, Angle Grinder, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Have you been out to the Petrified Forest area? Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> right, I'm in Flagstaff, so Oh, okay. The sea petrified woods in your blood. Yeah, Being in Arizona. In kind of struck me that, wow, this is once a tree. That's pretty darn cool. I grew up down in L.A. County. There's not much rock coming down there. No. Um, I don't spend too much time in Arizona except for, like, Tucson and Quartzsite. Mm. But I had a pleasure to go to that Jim Gray's place. Have you ever been there? Oh, yeah. It's a pretty cool place. It is. It is. It's very on his price point. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I hear that. You know, but then again. Oh, easily. <laughs> easily, easily. He does a lot of Yeah, exactly. But, uh, you're keeping the faith. Keeping the keeping it real, brother. Thank you, brother. There's You're a great lapidary. Tons of turquoise. It's like super old crack here. So. Let's go look at it. Is it this right here? The guy with the blue shirt, right? 
Look at the froggies. Beautiful serpentine frogs. I beg your pardon? Sometimes, like, yeah. like, I mean, I'm not like on the road, like, eight, you know, like, no, like I go, like, yeah, I'll go to like Tucson and California. And we just got back from the Herkimer Mines in New York. What got you into this? Oh, my grandma, she does the Tucson show. And I'm just, I was a musician, I didn't even like rocks, but. Um, yeah, I was calling for music. <laughs> yeah, for real. And like, um, it was lucrative. And it's, it's actually gotten better the last 10 years. You know, I don't have to work a regular job. I'm still poor, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Just as poor as I was playing music, but. Uh, well, anytime you're in a, an original, I mean, think about how old are you? I'm 32 today. Okay, so you're close to me, I'm 37. Growing up, you made no money doing music unless you're in a cover band playing bars and stuff. Oh, I still play in a bunch of dad bands, dude. Yeah. I just. <laughs>